I'm going to end this week with another kind of applied optimization problem. This one comes from economics and business and is called marginal analysis. Optimization problems in economics and business are pretty common. Optimization for production, for financial outcomes, for profits, for any other similar types of measurements in those areas of study. The model here is the production of some good or service. X is the number of units being produced, usually measured in thousands or millions or some kind of uh, group like that. There is a cost function, C of X. This is the cost of producing X units. And there also is a benefit function, B of X. This is the benefit of producing X units. These could be simple monetary values, cost to produce and price to sell. However, the model is very general and the cost and benefit could include mathematical models of other types of goods as well. The question though is this, what is the maximum net benefit? Net benefit is benefit minus cost. If this is business and the functions are financial, well then net benefit is profit. So what level of production produces the best outcome? And to that end, I will need the derivatives. The derivatives in this situation have special names. The derivative of benefit is called the marginal benefit, and the derivative of cost is called the marginal cost. Marginal here means on the margin, what happens for the next unit. This is an interesting interpretation of the slope of the tangent line. The slope is the rate of increase, and that can be approximated as how much cost or benefit will come from the next unit. And that's the main idea about this whole marginal analysis, and I'll return to that idea in a bit. So, I want to optimize the net benefit, b of x minus c of x. To optimize, I differentiate and set this equal to zero. This equation is equivalent to b prime equals c prime. The critical points here happen when the marginal cost and the marginal benefits are equal, when the cost for the next unit and the benefit from the next unit are the same. To solve, I have to find the x that makes these marginal values equal. So let me give some more interpretation here. If the marginal benefit is larger than the marginal cost, that, mean that means that the next unit will produce more benefit than cost. That's good, so production should increase. However, if the marginal benefit is less than the marginal cost, that means that the next unit will cost more to produce and give less benefit. That's not good, so production should, should decrease. And when the two are perfectly lined up, that's the critical value, the maximum or possibly minimum of the net benefit. I need to make one other important point before I go on to an example. This is an applied situation. I am looking for some strategic information about making a production decision. The mathematics can give me tools, but there is one important thing that the mathematics cannot do. It cannot tell you which question you want to ask. If you are a business, you may want to maximize profit, maximize the net benefit. However, if you are not a business, if you are a government or a nonprofit or say a university, you don't want to maximize profit. Instead, you want to break even. In this case, you want to maximize gross benefit, total benefit while breaking even. And that's a different question and requires a different mathematical technique. And this is an extremely important observation about applied mathematics, and one that I believe is often poorly understood. Mathematics gives you models, but not questions. What is your goal with a model? What is a good outcome? What is desirable? All these are questions outside the mathematics. You need to decide these before you start any calculation, or else you risk doing the wrong calculation and getting the wrong conclusion. All right, let me turn back to marginal analysis. Here is a cost and benefit function where x is, say, thousands of units. The cost is cubic, meaning that the costs are initially small, but they eventually accelerate. For many, many units, the cost increases rapidly, perhaps because the materials or workers with expertise become rarer and more expensive. The benefit here is linear. 3x means that each x thousand units produce 3x units of benefit, however that is measured. If this is a product being sold, that means the price is fixed, and the market is large enough that there isn't really any limit. Any number of units can be sold. 
So what is the optimal solution here? I take the two derivatives and set them equal to each other. I solve this equation and the result is 1 over 3 times 1 plus or minus root 7. The negative square root here leads to negative production values, which don't make any sense, so only the positive is useful. The approximate value here is 1.215. Now that this is applied mathematics, after the, calcula after the calculation, going to approximate values makes sense here. And after all the exact values that I've carefully used all term, I am happy with an approximation here. This net benefit is optimized at about 1,215 units. However, as I said before, I could ask a different question. If this is a non-profit organization instead of a business, I may want to break even. To break even, I set the cost and benefits equal, not the marginal cost of benefits, but just the basic cost and benefit functions. Here the result is a degree 3 polynomial equation. I asked a computer for the approximate solutions and got three values, and I want the maximum net benefit while breaking even, so I take the largest. Here, I can supply 1,810 units while still breaking even. Here's the picture of this model. 1.22 was the maximum net benefit, the place where B was as much above C as possible. This whole range here is the only range where the situation is at all profitable, and you can see that at 1.22, the distance, this line, is as large as possible. The maximum break-even point is 1.81, Cost and benefit are equal, so costs are covered. This is better than 0.42, where costs are also covered, since the total benefit is larger. And hopefully the visual here makes the point I mentioned. The mathematics gives you techniques, but not questions. Do you want the maximum distance between B and C, or do you want the break-even point? The mathematics has no idea what you want. You need to decide that before getting into the model. Once you decide, the techniques of optimization in this week can help you solve the problem you actually want to solve.